Welcome back to our show, show, BRMC's Healthy Connections with Jan Halligan. And you are a licensed nutritionist and all sorts of other things. Tell us about some of your credentials, Jan, before we get started here today. Well, I'm a registered dietitian, Mm -hmm. a licensed dietitian, of course, Mm -hmm. in the state of Arkansas. I'm a certified diabetes educator, and I also have certification in renal problems with diet and also certified in adult and childhood obesity. Wow. Thank you for being here today. And we have got a wonderful cooking show for you today. This is Jan's Portable Kitchen. My pride and joy. Her pride and joy, absolutely. That um, we were talking during the break that if there are groups out there, if there are clubs, as long as there's enough in attendance, uh, this would not be something because it is so bulky to, to move around. But if, if you had a large enough group and you wanted a demonstration, you'd be available to come out and do that, wouldn't you? Yes, indeed. And you may not be able to see it right here, but we've got the overhead mirror with the lights that will shine on here. There you we've go. We've got the oven over here, and it comes with a sink and uh, portable water also. So it's all self-contained. You can set up and cook whatever, wherever. And <laughs> wherever, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And two induction burners, too. Oh, my. Okay. Yes, it comes with it all. Well, all right, with the holidays coming, we were talking also about this probably the time of year that I would think people put the most weight on. The average is one and a half pounds if you're lucky. If you're not lucky, it can go up to five pounds. That it doesn't sound bad until you realize most people don't lose that weight after the holidays. It just keeps on packing on year after year. So I've taken some recipes that are very nice that have come off the internet and I've made them lower fat, lower calorie, but no change in taste because I don't want a low fat, low calorie recipe that doesn't taste good. Well, let's see what you got. What's the first one you're going to be showing us today? Okay, we are doing today the light spinach red pepper dip. Okay. And what we've what we're starting with is fresh spinach leaves. This is probably the longest time that I spend working with the recipe is going ahead and pulling off all the stems and pieces. Getting all of those out of there. Right. You wash it, of course, first. Mm -hmm. But you take off these stems because when you put this on crackers, you don't want somebody with stems sticking out of their mouth. (laughs) Very unattractive. (laughs) So that goes with the garbage. All right. Okay. Then we take... See, I missed another one. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, then we take and we chop up the spinach leaves, and we don't chop them to baby food consistency, but again, because you're going to be putting these on crackers, you don't want them too big of pieces either, because this is part of the dip. So So far, so good. Pretty easy. Oh, no, this is super easy. (laughs) That's that's my kind of recipe, Jan. Well, it's mine, too, because I always think I've got plenty of time, and it never pans out. Okay, so we take about mm, a cup of fresh spinach leaves. So here we've got them, washed, fairly finely chopped. Throw that in our bowl. Okay, then we take, well, we'll do this next. Okay, I've got deli sliced roasted bell pepper strips. And when I... Locally grown, that's my favorite part right there. Well, yeah, and I looked and it's in Napa Valley, so (laughs) it's someone else's local. (laughs) At least it's here in the country. (laughs) Yes, it is in the U.S. Okay, so this is found at a regular grocery store in town. I do not buy specialty products because specialty means high price. And again, you chop this up. So low cost and uh, low fat and great taste. Yes, there is no fat added to this. Not to the peppers, of course. These were soaked in water in the jar. I drained them off before I got here so I didn't make a mess. We appreciate that. Thank you very much. Gil appreciates that. (laughs) Definitely. One does not like to leave a mess behind. So we chop them up. Okay. Put them in the bowl. Back in the bowl, okay. Back in the bowl. Back in the bowl. Okay. Then we take our green onions, and these were washed, and now I 
take the stems off those. I'm watching you chop. I'm not such a great chopper, so I'm watching the expert here. All right, here. you just watch. You bend your fingers under so you don't chop off a nail into the food <laughs> or a finger. <laughs> All right, and we're going to put a couple tablespoons in the bowl. All right. And then we're going to save a couple tablespoons for the topping. And you call these green onions? Mm hmm We always called them scallions. Same okay. one and the same? Well, yes, but green onions usually are cheaper. Oh. Yeah. It's the oh. idea. That's not the la-di-da scallion step we want, then. We that want is to. correct. <laughs> and now we're going to take our ingredients and just add them in. Okay. Let's see. Did I put my spoon Bet, up there? Okay. I'll be I the assistant to... here and see okay. if I've got a... Oh, I got one down here. All right. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. And you can just hand me these one after the other. You bet. This is one half cup pre-measured of light salad dressing. And this would be like your Miracle Whip light. If you don't like the taste of Miracle Whip, use the mayonnaise light. Okay. Okay. One half cup in the bowl. Okay. okay. Next. Whatever, they're all going oh, in. Oh, they're all going in. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. This is one tablespoon of white so flour. Why I don't cook, yeah. And that's to help make sure it stays thickened when okay. it bakes. Cheese. Okay. We've got half a cup of low fat mozzarella cheese, all part right. skim. Ooh, okay. Got some Parmesan coming. All right. Now we sprinkle in half of the Parmesan. Mm -hmm. And the Parmesan is a quarter cup total. All right. So we're putting in a couple tablespoons now. Then we've got a half a cup of fat-free sour cream, and you better try the sour cream before you put it in your recipe because fat-free products are man-made, so they all taste a little different. Find one that you like that tastes like oh, the real advice. deal. great advice. I had no idea. I knew that they were man-made, but I had no idea that there was any real difference in taste. Oh, yes. Okay. And then you've got a teaspoon of the Dijon mustard. Okay. And you want this to give a little zip to your dish. Okay. All right. Now, you can be my assistant oh, and good. just stir that up. All right. Okay. There was that other spoon. That was hiding from you. Okay. It's got a good smell to it, that's for sure. Oh, oh does this it ever. smells wonderful. Yes. All right. I will get your container. Okay. And we take this. Okay. Is that going to be pretty good there? Or yes, a bit looks better? good. Okay. Looks good. Oh, I've got to chop up. While you're doing that, I'll chop up two more tablespoons of the green onions, aka scallions. Okay, and we know on this too, don't worry about writing all this down. I should have said that to you right at the very beginning because Jan's going to tell you about how to go ahead and get the recipes that she's preparing today. She's got a very special, well, put together package for you. I can't, yes, and sorry, do. can't talk and, <laughs> and stir up stuff at the same time. <laughs> when you're ready, put this in here. Okay. What we've got over at the Repel Diabetes Learning Center across the street from the hospital is we've got both of the recipes that I'll be showing you today. We also have, because uh, one of my nicknames is Minnie the Mooch, <laughs> I have mooched. Uh, coupons from different companies. One of our cottage cheese companies has sent me a whole packet of coupons and the Campbell's Soup Company sent me a packet of coupons and they've got uh, chicken soup, some um, low fat, low sodium tomato juice coupons. They've oh got my. like five coupons there, yes. That was nice of, nice of you to do and nice of them to send. So Well, we appreciate anything we can get, and I'd love to pass them on. Okay. Okay, so we're all in the bowl, and it's looking really, looking really nice. Okay. Then we go ahead. We sprinkle the rest of the green peppers over, or the green onions, excuse uh -huh. me, over the top. Okay. And then we uh -huh. take our other two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. Oh, that looks wonderful. Sprinkle that over the top. Okay. Okay. And then we pop this into a preheated 350 degree oven okay. for about 20 minutes. All right. Jan, before we see the finished product, we need to take a break. So when you come back, we're going to show you exactly what this recipe looks like. And I get to be the taster. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with you. All right. Let me just get rid of this stuff.